Hi, so in this video I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the basic steps that you need to take to set up your lead magnet for delivery to subscribers using MailerLite and Google Drive. So um, this is just going to be a quick overview, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this because you could go into quite a lot of detail. So the first thing you need to do is create a subscriber group, so you click on subscribers and then groups. And then you would click on this button, create new group, and then give your group a name. So I created this one earlier called Lead Magnet Checklist, which is a checklist that goes along with this video. So after you click create your subscriber group, you want to create a form. So if I just click on forms on the top menu, you'll see there are three different types of forms, pop-ups, landing pages, and embedded forms. The embedded forms is the main kind of form that I use for within blog posts and that's what I'm going to show you today. So if I just click on my site this is an example of an embedded form here where you just capture the email address name and you have a button to sign up or get the workbook in this case. If I go back here I've already created my lead magnet checklist. You would create your form by clicking create embedded form and I'll show you all of the components that go into that here. Okay, so when you come to create your form, you'll see you have several different fields here or options here. So the first section is details. So you can write in a title. You can write in some info about your freebie. And then you can change what your button here says. So I've got get blueprint, could be get workbook. I'm actually going to change this to get checklist, which is what this freebie is. And I'm going to get rid of these because I don't actually want a title or a description in here. I tend to put information about what the freebie is in my blog post. You can then change the design, so you can change the colour of your button and text here. You can change the width of your form. Um, so I'm going to keep all that as it is because it matches all my previous forms. And then here you have fields, so you can, you can capture a lot more information from your subscribers than I do, but I would recommend that you keep this simple, so I just have name and email address. And finally, you have groups. So we created a group in the last part of the video, and it's important that you select that group here. Um, and it just links your form to that group. So when anyone signs up for your checklist, they will be added automatically to your lead magnet checklist group. And that helps you set up the automation in the next step. So once you have your form created, that's all. You save it. And then we shall move on to the next step, which is creating our automation. Okay, so once you have your form and your group set up, you want to be able to, when someone signs up for your freebie, you want to set in motion um, an automated workflow that sends the freebie to your new subscriber. So the first, to set one of those up, you click create a new workflow within your automation tab. And you give the workflow a name. So we shall put lead magnet checklist two. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to select a trigger. So you have a choice here of when a subscriber joins a group, the anniversary of a date, the exact match of a date, when a subscriber clicks a link and updated field. So I'm just going to select when subscriber joins a group and the group that they would join is my lead magnet checklist group, which is the group we set up earlier. And we want to save this. So the trigger to start this automation is when the subscriber joins the group lead magnet checklist. Then we click on the plus button 
to select what we want to do when that subscriber joins the group. And what we want to do is we want to send an email immediately. If you wanted to delay sending the email, you would select, click on delay and select a time frame that you want to leave before you send the email. But I'm going to select email. So now you can input the detail of your the email that your subscribers are going to receive when they sign up for your freebie. So you want to put your subject title in here. So you can insert personalization. So I've got name here. So you just click on this drop down here and you can insert their name or email address or any other information that you captured in the sign up form. If you want to share it, that's not a must. Just I think it's quite nice to include your subscriber's name here. Um, here's your lead magnet checklist. And it's from me. And this is how it'll show in this, in the when they receive the email. My email address, and then I can edit. I'll save my title first. And click on the email to edit it and edit email content. So I like to keep my emails quite simple. I've copied this from one of my other automations because I like them all to say roughly the same thing. So I welcome them to Freedom Mamas in case they've not been here before um, and explain what I do. And uh, I give a link here. Here's your link to your lead magnet. Set up checklist. Now, the link that you want to put in here is the next step that I'm going to show you. So if we go to Google Drive, so if you have a Google account, you will have Google Drive. So you go to google.com forward slash drive when you're signed into your Google account and click on the button to go to the dashboard. And this is the magical place where I have all of my freebies. So to upload a document to Google Drive to share with your audience, you click on new, file upload. So you select the file that you want to upload, open it. When it's uploaded, you can click on here to go directly to it, or you can search for it in your files. And you'll see there's a download option here. You want to click on the three dots for more actions, and you want to click share. Now I want to click on get shareable link in the top right corner. And you have permission options here, can edit, can comment and can view. I just want to can view and copy link. So now we can go back to MailerLite to our automated email. And I can select this section here and insert link. So I'm going to change this link. So that's the link to an old read magnet. And I've also selected here a new window. That's so that um, a new window appears when clicking on this link. And select OK. OK, and you can also um, include other things in your welcome email, like a link to a Facebook group or any other freebies that you offer that you think might be of interest to your subscribers. It's a good time to point them out to somebody when they're brand new to your brand. So now we have the email set up. We click done editing. And we would now turn that automation on now that it's complete. So we click on. I'll show you is how you then put your sign up form into your website. So if I click on forms,
and lead magnet checklist. I can copy my code here. So I just go copy to clipboard. And then I go over into the back end of my website. And if I go onto the text version, I insert the code. You'll see it's just a little box with an arrow in it here. But if I click on preview, you can see my form in the preview here, name, email, and get checklist. And if you make any changes to your form within MailerLite, um, it will automatically update on your blog. So um, once the code is in there, it will always link back to the changes that you make in MailerLite. And that's how you set up your lead magnet using MailerLite and Google Drive.